Welcome to Guy Coco Gamers. I'm Daryl Benson, and uh, well, let's see here. I was going to talk about a few things, uh, and that included some new Game Boy games I got today, or the Game Boy SP that I got recently, or even another portable that I'm going to be discussing here in a bit. But um, well, those weren't in the cards. Turns out that there's bigger news today, unfortunately. Um, Recode has reported that Joystick is probably going to be no more. Uh, AOL seems to be kind of doing some house cleaning. And that means that the places that are either not producing a crap ton of money for them, or possibly, I don't know, are in the red, uh, are bye-bye. Um, according to Recode, Joystick had about a dozen or so workers, uh, so it's not too much. You wouldn't think that the costs would really be that much, and Joystick has a really good presence in the industry simply because uh, they're not like everybody else. And uh, what I mean by that is that, you know, uh, a few years back, GameSpot went ahead and got caught for making their uh, making their writers go ahead and basically get paid off for the reviews. Uh, Kanan Lynch 2, was it? Uh, Kanan Lynch, one of the video games, that whole debacle where they gave it a decent score even though it was not a decent game. And the writer came out and said, you know, I can't do this, you know. I gotta tell the truth. And there were strikes on the street and all nine yards. And uh, I'm telling you right now, IGN is no different. It's all the same. You, you can't, you can't be a company that runs that way, that is that big, and that runs off the type of clicks that they kind of run off of, and the ads that they kind of run off of, and complete that, keep that stuff completely separate. It's called religion, and. Uh, news, uh, like church and state basically. Uh, there's this thing that uh, in journalism you're supposed to go ahead and keep your advertising side over here and your news side over here. And those two things should never go ahead and conflict, meaning if you had a sponsor, uh, let's just say it was Kellogg's, right? And they pay you millions of dollars for advertising you should still report then if they're caught maybe using GMOs for their cereal line, right? Well, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of places out there, and this is not just video gaming, um, there's a lot of news sources out there that basically will not report on that type of stuff because they give them money. And it just feels like kind of in general, not just again, gaming journalism, but in general, journalism has kind of gotten to this weird area where it's more sponsored content and uh, things like that, uh, where basically it's not even real news. It's just advertising in the form of news. And I know that Joystick has some sponsored content, but it never feel, felt like they really took it as far uh, it never really felt like it was in such a gray area <laughs> as places like uh, even the Times uh, goes ahead and goes into. And I understand also that, you know, in this day and age, having a website that survives purely based on clicks is very hard. And there's a reason why websites like Kotaku do very well. It's because they, well, make clickbait. <laughs> uh, I personally kind of still like Otaku, so I'm not going to like totally bash them, but I also will say that they're not completely guilt-free in how they run their business. But, you know, from a business standpoint, they do a very good job. Sorry, I'm just kicking my cat to the side because he wants to play with my tripod. Come on, Zaz. Here. Here. Let us introduce Zazu. This is Zazu. He's an imp, aren't you? Yeah, it's Taco Tuesday at Filiberto's and he didn't get any meat. This is the sad life of a Maine Coon. Okay, skedaddle. Anyway, so, no, we're not going to play with the tripod. 
This is this is what I get to go through with cats. He's gonna okay. Really? Anyway. So uh no, uh joystick just kind of feels like a different thing. And it is a different thing. They have a little bit more integrity. Uh the reviews can still be just as entertaining as everybody else, but it always feels like they're generally sincere. At the end of the day, if they give a score, a bad score, a good score, I genuinely feel that they did or did not like the game. I don't really ever feel that way when it comes to IGN. It's a little hard for me to believe IGN when they've been caught multiple times with bullshit scores. So uh, the fact that we might be losing Joystick, and they kind of report it as like a rumor, but I mean, if it wasn't true, they wouldn't report on it. it, it I think it's true. Um, and it's a sad. I, I, <laughs> I used to post as uh, Shockwave, the, the Transformer uh, from the old cartoons, and I used his persona, per se, uh, way back when I was in college. What was that, like 2005 or so? Um, but those were pretty much, the, I think, the best of days were like 2000. 7, 2009, kind of all the way through that era, they, they had a, they had a change of staff, and I mean no disrespect to people who currently work there right now, but uh, it, it didn't really feel quite the same after that, and that was unfortunate, but to be fair, I did kind of grow to like the people who started working there. Uh, I posted uh, all the time on their Twitch TV videos as Ceramic Saturn, as I normally do. And uh, I was mentioned uh, several times. I, I like talking with them. I think they're a great group of people, and I think they're very talented. And uh, it's a shame if this is true, because they don't deserve to lose their positions because of this. So I'm not sure also what this means for them either, and I don't think they know, frankly. Uh, this could mean that they're absorbed by Engadget and maybe Engadget will take more of a video game role. It seems weird to me that they would go ahead and keep things like massively and that type of thing, but not joystick. So I'm not sure what they plan on doing. Um, it is a possibility too, if they have 12 people, that maybe they're just gonna go ahead and, and cut some positions and streamline. I'm not sure. Uh, but you know, if there's anything that I can say that's positive in general, not about this, but positive is that uh, not all areas of this nation are going down the tubes. And while there are many states that are not doing very well at all right now, uh, including the state that I came from, uh, there are many states like Arizona that are, are, are really doing things right. And I know that one of the editors is from Arizona, actually. And all I have to tell her is, you know, pound the pavement. Uh, there, there are writing gigs and all sorts of stuff out there that are posted all the time. In fact, uh, one of my old coworkers from the company I'm currently at uh, left my company to go ahead and get a higher wage at a different place where he basically writes textbooks for kids. And that's great. And, and there's plenty of stuff like that available. I'm not saying it's terribly easy to get, of course, getting a job can be stressful and it can be a little time consuming and it might take a little bit of time, but you know, there is hope out there. And what I really hope at this point is that people go ahead and keep on supporting places like this that do it right. Uh, I, and I, I think this is the reason why I do YouTube. Uh, there's several YouTube channels that do the same type of thing. Um, they don't seem to take any influence by advertising or anything like that. And when they tell you something sucks or when they tell you something's great, you generally feel that sort of, uh, well, genuine honesty coming from them uh, and I hope that I do that here too um, that's of course one of my goals and I know that we're not terribly big right now we are really big in the, in the podcast world and we're doing podcasts uh, 
But hopefully, you know, everything will start kind of generating up here. In fact, it already has. Um, but, you know, e even if we got really big here at Gut Coco Gamers, uh, that would just never be an option for me. And it shouldn't be an option for anybody. And I guess my point is this, is that at the end of the day, uh, it's, it's you, the viewer, who gets to decide who gets to keep their job. So, you know, if you don't like IGN, don't go there. People have this weird mentality about the, the biggest in the industry is that, you know, they always kind of shit talk it. And then when it comes to where they go get their news, they'll go there anyway. It's just like, well, you just said that they're shit. If they're shit, find somewhere else to go. And I kind of feel that, you know, Joystick was almost too honest for its own good. Uh, you know, they didn't go ahead and take advertising dollars, at least so much as I know, uh, take advertising dollars to go ahead and, uh, you know, give false scores. And they, they didn't go ahead and create as many clickbait articles as Kotaku and, and things like that. Um, and maybe they paid for it in that regards, but at the same time, at the end of the day, uh, it should be up to us as gamers to go ahead and be able to decide who we want to give our money to. And unfortunately, it seems that we have spoken loud and clear that we didn't want to give it the joystick. And that's a shame. Uh, that really is a big shame. IGN not, should not be as big as it is. GameSpot, especially after that whole kerfuffle, should not be as big as it is. Frankly, Kotaku <laughs> should not be as big as it is. I'm alright with Destructoid, although, eh, sometimes. Uh, definitely not Polygon now. Polygon should not be as big as it is. And yet you guys still go there. there. There's all too many times where I saw articles on Joystick that would maybe have like one or two comments. And uh, it, it, all that shift really did happen when they got new writers and new editors. And I think that had a large part to do with a lot of this, unfortunately. But... Regard, regardless of, uh, you know, which group of people you liked best, their integrity never really wavered. You might have liked one personality more than the other, but Joystick never really stopped becoming Joystick. And uh, if they do go away, I think uh, it's a big loss for the industry. And it's uh, unfortunate, and if it is true, once again, I hope that each and every single one of the people at Joystick can find something. And uh, I, I said it before in a comment section before, I am also willing to help as much as I can. So if anyone from Joystick wants to contact us, uh, they know how to get in touch with us. Just go to our site and uh, go to the contact area and uh, we'll see what we can do. But at the same time, you know, they can also regroup, they can also be whatever they want to be. Those guys, if they band together, can do it right. And maybe what was weighing them down was AOL itself. Anyway, uh, this has been a bite-sized episode with Daryl Benson. That would be me. Uh, with Guy Coco Gamers. And um, please keep on uh, commenting, rating, and subscribing. Uh, everything's going up, 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 and I really appreciate it as normal. Seriously, it's been, it's been doing really well, and I and I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Um, and if you appreciate our channel, not only help us out, but help out sites that have the same level of integrity, and give them some love too. See you guys next time.